Do you know that on an average, 24% of the software engineer leave their tech job in less than a year? You will find this kind of a trend in junior software engineers and it was backed by a report that was released in late 2022. But why actually this particular thing happens? Most of the time, with respect to junior engineers, there exists a common problem. When they actually start learning coding and let's say they join any particular college or bootcamp, the tech stack or the amount of technologies or the amount of projects that they are actually learning is far, far, far away from actually what you have to do in a real software engineering job. So in this particular video, I'm going to analyze what are some of the key things that you should definitely need to know and what are these key things that most of the new junior software engineers don't know before they start their tech job. But if you are new to the channel or you have not yet subscribed to the channel, do consider subscribing to the channel. We are going to put some really awesome content up ahead. So without any further ado, let's just start. So before moving forward in the video, I have an important announcement for you. So if you're somebody who is actually willing to learn advanced backend technologies, then this is going to be the right platform for you. So at AlgoCamp, we have launched our new flagship Lambda 4.0 Advanced Live Backend Development Batch in which you are going to learn advanced backend technologies including Fastify, ExpressJS, AWS, Mongo, DynamoDB and whatnot. This is going to be a power packed course in which we are going to take you from the very scratch, very basics of backend technologies to the very advanced level by building a lot of interesting projects. We are going to build projects like Code Sandbox Clone. We are going to build streaming app, which, which will include recorded movie streaming plus live streaming as well. We are going to make applications like Booking.com backend, which is going to help you understand transaction capabilities, integrations of payment gateways and many more. All the important projects that we are going to cover in the course is going to be listed here and this is going to be an absolute live course where we are going to take live classes, right? And in these live classes, we are going to do hands-on coding experience to learn all the important advanced backend technologies. You already know that backend is something that every important application needs and you can actually excel your software engineering career with these backend tech in the Node.js stack. So what are you waiting for? All the important links, the complete syllabus, curriculum, all the details of the course is present in the description section below. You can use the coupon code coming up here to get maximum discount off on the current price. I'm really excited for the course. I hope you guys are too. And now let's get back to the video. Now unit testing, integration testing, end-to-end -end testing. These are some of the type of testings that you will find most of the software engineers definitely doing in their tech jobs. If you land up a tech job in big tech, then doing testing of the code is one of the most important things that every time you have to do. And this is one of those skills that most of the software engineers that are absolutely new to the company or they have just started their career lack at the most extent. You will find people who have never even written a single unit test in their entire life. They don't understand what is the meaning of mocking. How can you mock a function? How can you mock a class? Why do you need to do the mocking? What is the meaning of unit testing? Do you actually call all the relevant functions in a unit testing? How you segregate unit testing of one function with the other function, right? All of these important concepts, most of the people don't understand. If you will ask, um, I would say an experienced software engineer, you will realize that more than 20 to 30% of the overall time in doing the implementation of the project goes in just writing the tests. Tests are very important in order to ensure that you have the most robust code base. You do not see any regression in the code base once you start adding more features on top of it, right? So apart from this, if you see some front-end engineers like some people who learn web front-end, mobile front-end, right? They also lack a lot of skill sets around testing. This is one of the fundamental reasons why a lot of companies nowadays in their project round are expecting the students to actually write unit tests for the code that they have actually written. Knowing, have, having the knowledge of unit test, how to write unit test, how to set up an end-to-end -end test, integration test, this is kind of like a bare minimum nowadays. Because this is the actual thing that you have to do in a job. Most of the time what people do is in a bootcamp they try to learn how to make simple CRUD apps, right? CRUD apps are good, but when you work in a real life project, things go beyond the CRUD apps altogether. And this is the first important thing that you definitely, definitely need to know. Now, one very big problem that I see with most of the junior engineers nowadays is that they don't know how to handle the version control. 
there's a good chance that the company that you will probably join will be using git as the version control or maybe the alternative options like something like mercurial but the problem lies with the fact that because students nowadays do not do enough group projects they have not participated in some internships or some group group uh, activities they do not know that how to contribute to a project in which multiple people are actually actively contributing if you are somebody who has done open source contributions if you are somebody who has done some internships then there is a good chance that you might be having this experience altogether but for somebody who has just done some basic courses where let's say they are just watching some video tutorials and making the project themselves they never get the exposure to work in a team when you work in a team you try to work on the same file same code base and there is a lot of conflicts that come up and junior engineers actually see a lot of difficulties in handling this particular scenario right whenever they are going to merge the code probably there will be some merge conflicts coming up they might remove some very important code they might they might not put some right relevant messages during the commits and raising the pull request and a lot of similar issues actually come up if you want to make sure that you do not land up in a situation like this a very easy way to understand all of this is to do some nice and good open source contributions in open source repositories there are many many people actually actively contributing to the project so you get that real world exposure coming up ahead this is some of the very important things that you have to keep in mind now again one very important thing that a lot of people actually avoid is writing clean sustainable and maintainable code a lot of time you will see uh, junior engineers not following the clean code practices they try to just justify their code by adding more comments trust me on this adding more comments doesn't make your code clean and scalable right the readability of the code depends on a lot of more factors how you are designing your classes where you are keeping your constants how much configurable your code is how much extendable your code is are you following solid principles or not all of these things make your code extremely extremely clean even writing if else can be done in a way such that the corresponding if else is more clean compared to the other one right so having the knowledge and the right mindset and the right approach towards writing clean code is very important and this is also something that we follow a lot at algocamp as well in algocamp i try to ensure that whatever type of code we are writing we emphasize the importance of the code cleanliness to the students you might want to write less code but you do not want to write dirty code right you do not want to be in a situation where people are not able to understand your code and your code is very rigid and requires very frequent changes all of these things we actually try to combine and make sure all of the students know how to write clean code what are the important solid principles what kind of design patterns are used in what kind of situations and what not this is a very important skill that you definitely definitely need to improve on now this can be something which is pretty open ended but i believe a lot of junior engineers do not have enough context on the devops concepts and the cloud concepts see devops engineers are generally a different team altogether but as a software engineer also there is some basic certain level of of devops stuff that you actually need to know if you are going to write some code you will be involved in some deployment cycles the deployment cycle generally goes through dedicated ci cd pipelines sometimes you might have to change some logic in those ci cd pipelines you cannot expect every time that you will raise a request to the devops team and they only will do it you might have to do it you might have to do the monitoring of the ci cd pipelines sometimes you have to make changes in the cloud infrastructure yourself as well you might have to do a lot of monitoring on the cloud infrastructure as well and what i can see is that a lot of people do not have exposure to the right set of deployment stacks right most of the time people uses a uh, ready to deploy code services like railway netlify and just deploy their code bases and have never explored things like google cloud platform aws azure these are real world cloud platforms which most of the companies actually use for example let's say if you land up a job in coinbase the complete deployment management of coinbase is done on aws there is a good chance that you will be involved with a lot of aws related services and you will be interacting with them knowing these services getting hands on on these services is something very crucial if you want to start your next tech job because you will be working on some real life project that will be catered by real users and you will be getting some real time feedbacks corresponding to them if you want to ensure all of this is right in place you have to have to have knowledge around the cloud infrastructure and basic knowledge at least around devops i am not asking you to be the next devops god but as a software engineer there are some basic devops concept like how to write a ci pipeline how to write a cd pipeline how artifacts are actually managed and so on and so forth how you can automate all of this these are some basic set of ci cd stuff that all the software engineers definitely need to know now this is something that i find lacking for not just junior engineers but a lot of uh, i would say one to two year experience engineers as well 
if you want to excel in software engineering it is not going to happen by just writing more code you need to read a lot of code as well and trust me on this if you start reading more code your coding abilities are going to enhance a lot and the best way to do that is getting involved in more code reviews try to review the code uh, pull request that your peers are actually making you do not need to block their pull request but at least a basic set of reviews you can actually do and if you do not have any comments to put on at least you can see what type of comments others are actually putting this helps you to understand the style guide as well for example a lot of companies like google microsoft uber amazon these companies have their own style guides for a specific tech stack you will be able to understand that okay this thing is coming because of the style guide this is this thing is coming because of lack of optimization and so on Once you start reading more code, you not just understand what are the other features that other people in your team are actually working, but you actually understand what kind of standards and what kind of coding principles is being followed in your code base, and you can replicate that in your next pull request as well. Trust me on this. Try to start reviewing more code uh, from the peers who are raising more pull requests, and you will see a significant change in the overall coding abilities that you are going to possess. And that's it for this particular video guys these were the five major pointers that i wanted to ensure that all of you guys keep in mind a lot of junior engineers do face difficulties in their first tech job it's absolutely okay you just need to hang tight and make sure you are upskilling every single day it's a very tight job market it's a very i would say cutthroat market with respect to not just getting a job but also surviving it so make sure you have all the relevant skills right on point That being said, let's wrap this particular video here, and we're going to meet soon in the next set of videos where we are going to continue our discussion on tech and career. Till then, take care. Bye bye. I'm Sanket Singh, signing off.